Hey, good evening, backwards score make nation, okay, and uh, international nation. We're here live, um, and today or tonight, we're going to talk about um, campfire cooking. And uh, if you hear my voice, maybe it sounds a little different, a little scratchy, I'm starting to come down with a cold here tonight. Uh, the last couple of days, and um, but we're we're working through it. So went out um, went out this past weekend did some campfire cooking, and man, I tell you what, uh, you know, getting out there to the woods and actually take the stuff that I've been learning myself over the years and trying to teach you guys and take it out to the woods and do it on a real campfire. There's something really, really satisfying about that. And uh, we did that uh, the last couple of days and got a bunch of great videos coming up for you for some family favorites you can do right out there on your camp. And uh, man, they're going to turn out great. Hey, and I really, I also, have a couple hacks for you, okay? Coming up, some stuff that, that we just kind of like gave it a try and worked out really good. So, you guys, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm sure most of you guys that are that are watching right now already are. But if uh, you know you have friends that like the camp or whatever, make sure you spread and share our channel with them so they can learn a little bit about some of this stuff and 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 what we're trying to do is come up with some some different stuff okay some some ways you, you can uh make your camp cooking a whole lot better all right so real quick let's give a couple shout outs to the people that are already in the chat we got cooper the great he's already in here steve sprawl he's uh getting in there darla a appreciate you coming in this week i know she she couldn't make it last week she's one of our moderators and one of our members we Appreciate you coming in from the great state of Ohio. I'm sure it's pretty chilly up there. Right. Today was 83. Darla, it was 83 degrees here today in in Central Florida. But tomorrow, it's only supposed to be a high of 60. So that's like a 23 degree drop in our temperature. From actually, it's beautiful out right now it's like 75 i'm sitting out here on the in the back with gourmet studio you see all the cast iron behind me uh right out here on the uh, on the back porch in the back with gourmet studio it is absolutely beautiful i'm in a t-shirt and uh shorts and flip-flops okay but tomorrow that will be a different story okay so this is that time of year our weather is just way way <laughs> up down up down we, we call it yo-yo weather you know one day it's 80 next day it's 50 you know that's kind of thing <clears throat> all right we got a tk diver one uh checking in mrs backwoods is also in the house so keep your comments um respectful and if you would like to ask a question please just hit the at symbol Backwoods Gourmet, it should pop up in where you can click it in a box and then type your question, all caps. That uh, The first, if you put the at symbol, Backwoods Gourmet, that's going to tag your question in red over here on the side for me. So it'll be easier for me to pick it up. And if you don't do that and you ask a question and I miss it, just put it in again. Uh, maybe I'll try to hit it up again uh, later in the video. I'm not 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 that I'm ignoring you, but sometimes this chat goes really, really fast. I'm yakking my little mouth off over here and not always looking at every single chat. And sometimes it goes by really, really fast. So at Backwoods Gourmet channel, uh, hit that first and try to tap, type your question or comment in in all caps and that'll help help it. Uh, Darla A is saying it was 40 there in Ohio today. That's not too bad for Ohio. We got Houston Fishing Fanatic uh, checking in. He says, what's up, sir? Love your channel. Big fan. Let's go Houston Texans. 
Okay, so, you know, we're going to talk, there he's talking about sports. Uh, something I'm not really into that much is sports. I'm, I'll tell you that right now. I'm into cooking. I'm into outdoor stuff. I'm into hunting. I'm into shooting. I'm into fishing big, big time. North Star Great Danes is checking in. Uh, Stuck in BC is saying hi to everybody. JD Dowdy. Hello, Backwoods from West Texas. Appreciate you showing up there. Doug Jackson, hello from New Jersey. We got him from all over the country. Uh, these people, you know, everybody here in the chat just loves uh, outdoor cooking. And we appreciate you guys, uh, every one of you, showing up here uh, for these live chats and, and on our regular channel and comment. Steve Sproul is uh, in the house there, uh, another regular commenter. Um, Houston Fishing Fanatic. Uh, he got part of it at Backwoods Gourmet, but uh, I stopped typing for some reason there. So Andre Caravalho, 86 here. Hot like hell. I don't know where. <coughs> Again, excuse if uh, you hear me cough a little bit, you know, come down with this little bit of cold. So, Andre, where are you at there where it's 86? Uh, he might be in South Florida. I don't know. He could be anywhere in the world. Everybody in the world, uh, you know, watches our channel. So, how hard to say. Jessica Perry saying hi. Uh, we appreciate you showing up there. And uh, I'll, also, I've seen uh, Shane. Shane uh, over there in Melbourne, Florida. He checked in a minute ago. Uh, give a big shout out for Shane. We uh, uh, let's see. Uh, North e Andre says he's from northeastern Brazil. Best regards. Appreciate all you guys that watch us from all over the world. Uh, checking in and watching our channel. Um, and I guess uh, uh, one of the big reasons is that the cast iron and outdoor cooking grilling barbecue uh cooking stuff outside is really a worldwide method of cooking you know people have uh, no matter where they are in the world uh they they do it some of them as a lifestyle you know in some places in the world uh that's where you cook outside you know um we take it for granted here in the United States that we have microwaves and indoor plumbing and, you know, indoor ovens and all that kind of stuff. But there's other places in the world where if you're going to cook something, you're going to cook it out there on some wood, on a campfire or a hearth or a fireplace, something like that. So, all right, let's uh, jump back over there. we got Johnny Glines showing up. Uh, Appreciate you at Backwoods Gourmet. He says, cast iron grate for the Weber 22. Is it worth it? I have not tried to cast iron grate for the Weber 22. I'm still using my stock grate for my Weber 22. But uh, that gives me a good idea. Let's, let's see if we can get one uh, here coming up this winter and give it a try. Um, all right. All right, we got uh, 10,000 Lakes, BC, Northern Minnesota checking in right there. North Star, Great Danes, uh, Wowza, Brazil. Yeah, we're up in Brazil there. Okay, um, trying to look at the chat here. Everybody's chatting along here. Steve Green, hey, I caught you. Appreciate you showing up there, Steve. So, all right, so everybody... It's kind of checking in now. Gave everybody a few minutes to get in the chat here. So what we're going to talk about tonight's campfire cooking. And campfire cooking has been around since the dawn of human civilization. All right. So this is uh, this is something that's built. It's built in. It's built into human instinct. It's built into human experiences over billions of years. The very, very first humans that ever cooked 
uh, meat, veg, whatever, to make them more digestible. And that, that was the whole reason, the whole reason for cooking. Cooking makes anything you eat more digestible because it helps to start the process of breaking down the proteins and fats and glutens or whatever it is in that particular edible uh, plant or protein to get it started so that it makes it more, more digestible for humans to consume and to nourish our bodies. Okay. So you got a lot of people that are, you know, they're raw vegans, whatever. And, you know, that may be their lifestyle, but the reason why humans became smart is because we were we were able to process proteins better than any other animal on earth. Okay? And that's why we evolved into being the pretty much kings of the planet. So, you know, not knocking the raw vegans or anybody like that, but the reason why the human race evolved to be the smartest people and most evolved uh, animal on earth was because of cooking. And that all started on, on a campfire. And there's been many, many documentaries and studies that have shown this of how that we came down out of the trees as apes and became the human race and the reason why we did that is because we learned how to cook okay and we're still the only animal on the planet that, that cooks our food before we consume it for the most part okay so that's all i'm gonna say about that so i know i'll probably get some vegan trolls and and uh you know all them will come over here bitch and complain and give their their counter argument to to that and how that's made us unhealthy and blah blah. We got every kind of troll there is on the planet right now. Uh on our channel over there. We got gluten trolls, vegan trolls, uh anti hunting trolls, anti fishing trolls, anti this, anti that, anti whatever. Uh over there giving their a little speech on the channel and um sometimes i'll leave them up sometimes i just delete them so anyway if your lifestyle is you know i got no problem with people that are vegetarians that's a vegetarian by choice okay or vegan by choice or whatever but you know if you want to choose that lifestyle for yourself that's a-okay with me but when you come over onto other people's YouTube channel that they're, that don't particularly agree with that particular lifestyle, don't come over here and 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 leave comments on my channel that says, "Oh, you're poisoning yourself, and all you people are wrong, and you're killing little animals, and blah blah, whatever." Okay, do your thing, and I'll do my thing, and hey, let's all get along. All right. So let's get back to the chat real quick. I got a bunch of people I've seen just jumped in there. A bunch of y'all guys went by really quick. So if you had a question over there, remember to tag at Backwoods Gourmet Channel and then put all your uh, question or comment in all caps. So it will jump out over here so I can stop yapping and, and make sure I stop the chat and really go over there and, and uh, watch what you're saying so let's give a couple people another shout out well we got uh actually all the same people let me back up just a little bit i know i missed a bunch of people uh over there jd dowdy i really enjoyed cast iron cooking for many years i've started using my blackstone this past year both are awesome yep um you know i thought about really uh, I know Chef Johnny, he actually put one out. If you haven't checked out Texas style barbecue cuisine, uh, uh, maybe one of my mods can drop a link to his channel over in the chat there. Please go over there and check out his channel. He's doing some Blackstone um, videos over there on his channel. And there's many other really, really good Blackstone grill channels. 
So they've been doing a whole lot of stuff over there. John Daigle, appreciate uh, another one of our members showing up and appreciate it, John Daigle. In a, he says, in need of a campfire tonight now. Got about three inches of snow up there already. So, yeah, it's um, it's it's supposed to come here tomorrow, cold weather. So, no snow. We won't have no snow, but um, thanks for the update there, John. We got Jessica Perry showing up. For, uh, we appreciate you, Jessica. Uh, and let me go try to see if I can catch up live now. Everybody else, um, Darla A just dropped in a really good comment. She says, don't forget to hit the like button. So we got 36 people in the chat right now, but we only got 18 likes. So if you're up in here, um, please hit the like button. We got Papa Texas. I just checked out um, his channel a couple months ago. Papa Texas has been a subscriber of ours for a while. Did check out his channel. So go over there. If you have not yet checked out Papa Texas, go over there and give him a shout out. Okay. All right. I know my voice is getting really scratchy. Got this cold coming on. So, all right. Uh, stuck in BC. He actually did tag me in the chat over there. So if you look over there to the right, you'll see that I'm tagged in the chat. He says, I've now enjoyed a number of your recipes. Thank you. Uh, were you a professional chef cook before or just a passionate foodie? All right. Uh, stuck in BC, I've been a passionate foodie my whole life. And no, I have never been a professional chef, even though I have aspired to improve my cooking through my entire life and especially outdoor cooking and barbecue and cast iron cooking, which was what I was taught how to do when I was a kid. You know, my parents and grandparents, that's what they used to cook. So we appreciate it. Um, so uh, let's see over here in the chat. Anyone, uh, 10,000 Lakes BC says, anyone heard of Ash Cake, the Pioneers? Oh, let me back, back that up because it's going by pretty fast. Uh, the Pioneers made cakes over coals, but would have to blow the ashes off when it was done. It's a delicious, dense cake with a smoky flavor. Okay. I have seen a couple different versions of that. Um, we have not tried it over here on our channel, but. If anybody knows a, a really good video of how to do that, uh, if you could link it down in the in the in the chat. Appreciate it. Right now, uh, Becky Dupree is in the chat. She is one of our oldest members. Actually, I think maybe uh, one of our original members. We appreciate it, Becky. She's out there in Texas. Does a lot of Dutch oven cooking and a lot of Dutch oven. Think like competitions to get together, things like that. So uh, I don't know if she puts anything up on YouTube as far as her cooking or not, but she's been a great supporter of the channel and we appreciate her a lot. All right. So uh, let's keep on uh, looking at the chat here. Chris Carter, appreciate you showing up. My brother and I were talking today uh, and he wants to cook Dutch oven cornbread. Do you have any videos, recipes, comments, divine guidance? One of our very first videos on our channel was how to do cornbread. And uh, that's still on our, on our channel now. You can find it uh, more easily on our channel page in a Dutch oven and cast iron cooking playlist. Uh, that was very old video. I think about 2010 or 12, something like that. Uh, we are planning on redoing that because uh, our video production quality is a whole lot better now nowadays. And uh, and um, I'm really waiting for an opportunity to do that actually out on the campfire. Um, it works very very good out on the campfire. All right, so we got. 
Uh, Kurt uh, Ripplinger showing up. Did he cook something special for Thanksgiving? The thing I did for Thanksgiving, uh, we did another um, cast iron Captain Morgan's apple pie and some cast iron. Uh, we did it inside in the oven, and we did mustard greens, uh, southern style, right out of our garden. Uh, we didn't have our dinner here at the house this year. We did in-law's house. So that was the two things I took up there. And, um, and hardly, I think I got one little, little tiny slice of the pie that actually came home that didn't get eat, and none of the mustard greens. Okay. So it was a pretty big hit. All right. Uh, we got uh, Woodland Ice. Love your bread on the Weber, Krill, Weber Grill. More like that would be appreciated. Yeah, man. Um, that bread was, it really turned out super, super awesome. And, you know, I would, I would just like to tell everybody that's, that's, that's watching right now, you know, you can take your bread and cast iron, put it around that Weber kettle grill and use it like an oven. You can cook bread in there in that thing, just like you would in the oven. And I think it even comes out even better than, um, than doing it now. We got Cheesehead Chris showing up. Appreciate you, you know, stopping in. Everybody saying, hey, we got UP, UP uh, Gardner. Uh, did video it. Uh, I'm not sure who he's asking there. The pie. No, I didn't. Okay, now he's clarifying. I did not uh, video the pie. We did uh, go out. Over this long weekend, you know, we had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. And um, I did go out yesterday out to the Green Swamp, and we actually filmed four videos out in the Green Swamp yesterday. And two of them will be here on the Backwoods Gourmet channel. And two of them will be on our new channel, which you, if you haven't checked it out yet, it's the Backwoods Gourmet Adventures, okay? So we filmed two for each channel, two cooking videos and two adventure videos. Uh, check out the Backwoods Gourmet Adventures. Um, maybe one of my moderators can jump over there on YouTube real quick and, uh, and find the Backwoods Gourmet Adventures link up there to our new brand new channel if you want to see some of the stuff that we're doing over there um besides just the cooking and uh you know gotta go check out the backwards gourmet adventures okay becky dupree appreciate uh actually John Vincent is over already been over there to the Backwoods Gourmet Adventures channel and saw the Ford stuck out in the swamp. So if you want to see stuff like that that we just come across when we're when we're out in the woods, uh, go over there to Backwoods Gourmet Adventures channel. You can just uh, stick that up there, just in the search bar right above uh you know youtube page and type that in you should be able to find backwards gourmet adventures make sure you go over there and subscribe and you see all the stuff i just put up there and stuff i've already put up yeah uh it's for some of you guys it'll be pretty entertaining to see what we're doing in between uh cooking videos and all that we're just out there in the woods and some of the stuff is just not suitable for the Backwoods Gourmet channel, but we know there's still interest with a lot of our viewers to see all the stuff that we're doing in between. So that's why we started the channel, and I uh, hope you guys go over there and check it out. And uh, Becky Dupree uh, apparently already seen that video too, and she did, she's uh, asking a question. Do you know if they got the truck out of the mud? I have, I don't know. Okay. Didn't go back out there today. I spent my whole day editing videos and getting ready for this live. And uh, we just edited a video for next week going up on uh, Saturday. As always, Saturday, 
at 11:45 a.m. That's going up to make campfire cook, and we actually did a little Dutch oven hack for the next video. And I hope you go watch that because it really turned out special. And that's all the teaser I'm going to give you for it right now. But get ready for the uh, next Saturday's video, 11:45 a.m. Okay. Um. J.D. Dowdy is saying, we really enjoyed the Cuban sandwiches. Thanks for the tip. Appreciate it, man. I love Cuban sandwiches. And uh, that video we gave out there, I think, is, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, a really good tutorial on how to make a traditional, authentic Cuban sandwich. North Star, Great Dunes. He says, oh, the green swamp, our backyard. Appreciate you, North Star Green Dunes. Um, yeah, we've been out there quite a bit lately. I was out there almost all day. I was out there from about 9 o'clock in the morning yesterday till after dark. So, uh, yeah, I really love any time I can get out to the woods. Jeff Sabolo, great videos. Love the outdoor kitchen video. Really great. Appreciate you, Jeff, for showing up. All right, we got Luke Raboli um, showing up in the chat. Appreciate you up in here. And uh, Luke Raboli, I don't know what you are commenting over there, but we have moderators on this chat, and any inappropriate um, comments that you will leave will be promptly deleted by our wonderful volunteers, which would be um, Miss Becky Dupree, Dollar A, Mrs. Backwoods, uh, uh, Chef Johnny, if he ever comes in here to chat. So we have three or four people here, and I really appreciate all you guys that uh, have volunteered to be moderators because it's quite often that we get these trolls up in here in the live chat that just uh i don't they do it for sport i don't know what they do it for but they just come in here and they just i don't know they do crazy stuff i don't know they're a bunch of kids or whatever that don't understand adult conversation and have no uh value for people that are actually trying to share their uh information or knowledge with with the other community here on YouTube. So appreciate it. Papa, Texas. Gotta love chef Johnny. He says, yep, my man, we love chef Johnny over here. I actually, uh, you know, one of my last videos there, I used some of his seasoning. He was happy enough to send me a batch of uh, several kinds of his seasoning over here. We've been using it for about a year now. And, um, as long as you can handle a little bit of spice, Man, I tell you what, it's pretty awesome. So if you haven't checked out Chef Johnny's channel, please go do that. Uh, Becky Dupree is throwing uh, another comment in here to me. Is there any chance of doing a cooking video on one of your gorgeous Florida beaches? Uh, Becky Dupree, yes, there is, uh, especially over at Fort DeSoto. I mean, we did one a while back. Uh, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, we cooked over at uh, at uh, Fort DeSoto over on Clearwater. Uh, we didn't actually get to do it right on the Gulf Beach, but it was on the intercoastal water side. Uh, and we actually went out and gathered our uh, oysters, gathered some oysters. We cooked a regular meal, and then uh, we grilled some oysters right on one of those little camp grills, you know, the ones that kind of picnic grills and so we grilled our oysters right on there and just uh picked them up and ate them right there on the side of the water so it wasn't quite on the beach there's only very few beaches where you can uh cook up on we did do one on saint augustine beach also where we caught some whiting right there in the surf and used the sportsman's grill right on the tailgate and uh cooked them up uh Nobody hardly ever watched the videos, but, you know, they are they are still over there on our channel page. So 
you know, there's 340 some videos over there on channel page. If you click on the channel page, then click the videos, uh, not just the playlist, not just uh, what comes up initially. Once you pull up the channel page, you can click on videos and that will show you every video that we ever uploaded. OK. All right. Uh, Magic 0003, a video on the beach would be nice to see. Um, appreciate appreciate you. Um, Magic, uh, another one of our members. Appreciate you coming up there. So that brings up a really good uh, point that, um, you know, if you're even if you're a subscriber to our channel, YouTube is only going to suggest what they want to suggest to you to watch. Okay, so even if you're watching, you're, you're subscribed, you are got your bell ring, and all that kind of stuff, they're only going to put up the new stuff for the most part. Uh, they may put up a, a random video from the past, uh, depending on whatever they're pushing at the time. So... What I want you to understand is that there is a whole body of videos in behind all that. So what you have to do is just click on our logo, a little picture over there to the side of whatever video you're watching. Or you can hover over the Backwoods Gourmet channel and that will turn blue. You can click on that. It takes it to you, the channel page. And once you're there, it's going to play you a little trailer if you're not subscribed or if you are subscribed, it's going to show you the latest playlist and uploads but above that is the tabs across the top okay and the second tab over one first one's home and the next one says videos if you click that video tab <coughs> that's going to show you every video that we've ever ever put up on a channel so you can go back through that tab and look at all that content that we've done over 10 years. Uh, most of it's been in the last four or five years. Okay. So most of the good stuff that we ever done is in the last three or four years. But you're going to see some of those videos that people are always asking for uh, are going to be already over there. And that's why we've actually backed up to some of those videos we're starting to reproduce. And hopefully we're going to be doing more and more of those over this uh, next few months, like the cornbread video, like swamp cabbage video. Some of the other ones we did a long, long time ago when we didn't really know what the heck we were doing over here on YouTube and didn't have the gear uh, to really film them properly. So we're going to go back and really uh, go through some of the best of those and refilm them. But if you do want to see some of them, Right now, you can just by clicking that. I was trying to get back over here to our YouTube channel page and, um, you know, uh, post that for you. But, you know, it's just been very hard to do. Let me go ahead and see. I'm putting in uh, Backwoods Gourmet. Uh, right now, but, you know, since I'm streaming, it's very slow. So let me get back over here and let that chew on it for a minute. All right. Uh, so let's get back to the chat here real quick. Uh, let's see if we can get back to live. Becky Dupree, the first Dutch oven cook. Ooh, where? She jumped away from me. Hold on back. We're going back. Um, the first Dutch oven cook we ever did was on the beach. We end up with sand in our chicken and rice. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, but uh, you know, it was probably pretty a really good experience. Um. Papa Texas says YouTube stopped pushing my videos a year ago. It's always a problem. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, something you can't control. You just got to keep working on and keep making quality content, keep your schedule. 
out on St. Augustine Beach. He says it was cool. Appreciate it. Uh, I got some people showing up in here with uh, in a language I don't understand. So I'm going to go ahead and just hide them from the jam because I have no idea what they're saying. Papa Texas says the link to the other channel is on your main page. Yes, it is. If you go to our regular page, if you look at uh, suggested channels or feature channels on the right of our main page, it'll be right there back with Gourmet Adventures. You can see it right there. Uh, uh, 10,000 Lakes, appreciate you showing up and uh, appreciate you checking in with us. <coughs> All right. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Like I said, I am coming down with a little, little cold and cough here. All right, uh, trying to get to him here. Uh, hold on just a second. All right, uh, we got uh, VX Tech One back with Scorm J. Any gator recipe videos posted? Uh, yes. Uh, again, back to the back to the main channel page. You click on videos. Uh, or you could just go to home, click down to cooking wild game outdoors, scroll through that playlist, you will find gator balls, okay, where we actually used alligator and scallops to make a very, very delicious dish with gator. Probably the best gator dish I've ever eaten. All right, so yeah, gator, we got it up there. Uh, somebody saying hello to... To Kent, I did not see, uh, is that Kent um, from Iowa showing up? I'm not sure. B Feller, oh, it's about uh, dollars and little picks, not about campfire cooking. This is when I quit. Thanks for everything. Uh, not sure what B Feller is talking about. Uh, okay. So, checking out the thing here. Yeah, we have kind of got away from um, campfire cooking a little bit. So, appreciate it, B. Fowler, for reminding me we got away from campfire cooking. So, I've been uh, giving a bunch of shout outs over here, and I don't know what we're talking about dollars here. But anyway, campfire cooking. Now, my biggest my biggest tip for campfire cooking is making a campfire for sitting around and shooting a crapola and drinking beer and you know doing your thing is way different than than making a fire for cooking. Okay, so when we're talking about campfire cooking. We're talking about a a fire that's made only from hardwood. You don't want to have any kind of uh, sappy wood like pine or any of that kind of stuff on a cooking fire. It's got to be hardwood coals. And and what you're trying to do is you're trying to burn that fire down to where you have a good, really, really good bed of coals to cook on. Whether you want a Dutch oven, cast iron skillets, your your carbon steel, like this one right back there, carbon steel, works really, really good on campfire. You don't need a whole lot of heat for it. Um, but campfire cooking should only be done with hardwood coals. And and that's going to keep your pans from getting all smitty and getting all that yucky-ass smoke up on the bottom of them that's going to be really hard to clean off. So. You want to cook camp fire, if a cooking fire, only with hardwood, and you want to get that thing almost completely burnt down before you actually start cooking on it. I mean, it's, you know, so you're going to lay one of them big old casters like that black lock right there, right up on top of a big bed of, of burnt down coals, cook just about anything you want to do on it. All right. So campfire cooking is way different than just a plain old campfire. So I designate 
two, uh, two things. There's a campfire. This campfire for just you know blazing hot. You want a big fire. You want the light. You want you know all that. And then there's cooking fire, which a uh, camp cooking fire, which is much more contained. Okay, we like to have two big logs on either side of it, keep it concentrated in one area, and then be able to bridge across it with a grill or grate, or your flip down. You know, if you got one of those fire rings, flip down, keep it concentrated into one particular area. So you can you put your griddle up, you can you can do lots of different things, Dutch ovens, and so on. And you're gonna see that on uh, next Sunday, 11:45, we're gonna we're gonna do something special with a special technique out in the Dutch oven on the campfire inside uh, our campfire ring with the flip down grill. And then uh, coming up very shortly after that, we're going to use our big uh, lodge cast iron griddle to do some really great lunch items. Okay. So campfire cooking is something when I'm, when I'm talking about it, I'm talking about campfire cooking fire, not just uh, throwing up a campfire, burning whatever kind of wood you got. So, and it does take some practice on learning how to do it, learning when that fire is ready and being able to judge the heat. So if you guys want to talk about campfire cooking and you got any questions about that, please show them up there in the chat. Uh, I know a lot of you guys' questions have already went by really quick, so let me try to back up a bit. I do want to um, remind you guys that Super Chat and Super Stickers are enabled on this chat, so if you'd like to contribute to the cause, uh, you can hit that down there and uh, donate whatever you want. All right, so Magic says, uh, I had a problem becoming a member as well. I was using IE a lot, logged in with Chrome and was able to join. Yeah, so if you guys uh, didn't know already, we, we are have memberships enabled. You can hit the join button. It does not work uh, with iOS or iPod. Uh, hardly works at all with android either uh it's last i checked works on pc pc android phones works just perfect and beats me why youtube ever even launched this feature if it didn't work across all the platforms uh if i can find out any more about that i will let you know okay all right so uh Duck in BC is leaving a question. How would you describe the taste of gator meat? They don't have gator meat here. Uh, LOL. Gator meat is somewhere between uh, chicken and fish. Other than that, I can't really, I can't really describe it. Um, it's it is a special taste of its own. It's got more texture than chicken, less texture than or more texture than chicken. Uh, uh, and way more texture than fish, but a taste that's somewhere in between that's very unique. Uh, if you get some good stuff, you'll love it. All right. That's all I can tell you. Daddy Dutch, Papa Texas is talking to Papa Texas. LT, appreciate you showing up. Love watching your channel, Campfire Cooking and Cast Iron. Appreciate you, LT. Uh, Lee Clarkson is asking where do you source your firewoods from uh most of our firewood actually comes from the yard right here we got these oak trees i'm constantly trimming the limbs from those and uh of course we get a hurricane about every couple of years and there's down trees everywhere we usually try to harvest some of those up and uh let them dry out out here um otherwise we uh, source it from deadwood right in the camps you know where we go to and you'll see that in our last couple of videos from the Green Swamp. And uh, you'll see it in a couple of our upcoming videos also. All right. Uh, North Star Great Dune says uh, gator tastes like a cross between chicken and pork. Mm, I'm not sure about the pork side, but maybe chicken, pork, and fish. Uh, they all. Uh, 
or white meat. Okay, but but gator is very definitely distinct. distinct. Becky Dupree tagged me in a uh, comment here. I was forced to learn to campfire cook after I bought the cook it all. Mm. Charcoal just doesn't get the job done. Not on cook it all. You know, if y'all watched my cook it all videos, I did a whole series on it. And uh, I finally did a final review with the cook it all. Totally worthless uh, without a campfire. Um, you got to have like 10 times the heat. Um, cook with that, cook it all to make it work. Than you do with uh, just a regular Dutch oven. That's why I kind of gave up on mine. I actually donated it to a, Charitons, uh, a veteran's charity for an auction. And uh, I think they got a hundred bucks for it. I paid 160 bucks for it, but I gave it a, I gave it a try. Showed all you guys uh, how I did it. And, but anyway, it went to a good cause. Uh, Papa Texas says for me, it would be a ribeye, a ribeye done on a cast iron over a campfire or anywhere else you do it will really, uh, be enjoyable. I guarantee that. Um, North Star Great Dane says we get some old orange wood from the old orange groves. Uh, actually, the very first barbecue competition that I ever placed in or ever competed in, we placed third place in, in chicken, and we actually smoked our chicken with orange wood. And um, it, in chicken ribs, man, orange wood, it, it's one of the best uh, woods I think you can smoke them with, really, especially chicken. Um, Orange wood is something that hardly nobody ever thinks about. And I, I've been actually trying to source some here lately. I mean, I've been tearing down orange groves all around me as fast as uh, they can build houses. They're bulldozing the orange groves. And, you know, I just keep forgetting, throw chainsaw in the back of my truck. And they're out there pushing them over. Say, you know, drive out there and say, hey, well, I can cut a couple limbs off his orange grove, orange tree for you. Burn it up, you know. Throw a couple of them in there, but we're going to try to get that done and maybe put up some videos on uh, using orange wood as smoking wood because it is really awesome. It's really awesome, orange wood. If you can find it, go find it. It's it's awesome. So, all right, guys, we've been on here for 48 minutes um hope you guys will uh go up videos. appreciate everybody who is still on the chat we got 48 people here 46 likes remember that you can go back and watch this video later if you missed it uh or if you missed part of it you can always go back and and watch it later it's going to render out and become a normal video, just like any of our other videos will be over there on our channel. You can also review the live chat. You can enable that back and you can see what the questions were that people were asking. Um, and we got a few more coming in right now uh, from Becky Dupree. It says Myron Mixon. A Georgia boy and world champion barbecue or swells squares by peach. I can't get it here in Texas. I can't get it here in Florida either, um, Becky. But we got plenty of orange, old dead orange trees around here where just uh, people haven't been taking care of them. So, you know, I wish I could find some peach wood. I've looked around. I've even looked. I've even looked for it when I've been driving through South Georgia where they plant all and grow all the peaches. Look for a sign. Hey, somebody got a peach wood for sale. Every little place we stop at, nobody's got it. Okay. Um, North Star Great Dane says, uh, yeah, they rip out the orange groves too fast. They, you go by one day and it's an old orange grove. And next day you go by, it's a pile of sand and a, a big piles of orange trees are already burning up. So, you know, but 
maybe we'll uh we'll get out there and get some and then we'll do a video on smoking some chicken or maybe some baby backs or uh some some ribs with the uh, orange wood the very first super super set of baby back ribs i ever made that everybody just went crazy about was smoked with some orange wood so i know it's pretty cool all right Oak campfires are best. Yep, take care. We appreciate you. Woodland paradise. Yep, uh, you got to have oak wood if you're going to cook on a campfire. Uh, all right, we got stuck in BC. Uh, is asking a, or giving a comment here. We can't get the Seminole Swamp seasoning here. Is is there a comparable product by a different name? He's in British Columbia, so I'm, I'm assuming stuck in BC, British Columbia. So they don't ship to Canada. I guess they can't import it over there. So I do not know uh, how you can get that, but I tell you what, stuck in BC. Shoot me an email over here to Backwoods Gourmet Channel at Gmail, and uh, I'll see if I can't make a way to get you uh some of that seminal swamp season to british columbia um you might have to help me out a little bit with the shipping because last time i sent something up there it was like 18 bucks in the shipping to send something over to canada but hit me up with the email we'll start a conversation i'll find out how much it costs to ship you i don't charge you nothing for the season if you pay for the shipping i will definitely uh ship it over there to you all right, buddy. That's the best deal I can make you right there. All right. So that brings you to uh, last thing for tonight because we only got eight minutes left for it's going to be hour on here is if you have not tried Seminole Swamp seasoning yet um, and you would like to, I know a lot of you guys on the chat here have already tried it and I've already sent you some, a lot of you guys. Uh, if you not tried it, you really like to try it, I want you to go over to our email. I'm going to put it up on the chat right now. <coughs> Sorry. Right there on the chat right now, Backwoods Gourmet Channel at Gmail. If you're on the chat right now and you're, and you're uh, live live with us uh, and you never tried Seminole Swamp Season, go ahead and shoot me an e email to Backwoods Gourmet Channel at Gmail. Uh, Jimmy Bear or Thunder Bear, Jimmy McDaniels over at uh, Seminole Swamp Season does not pay me a dime to push his product. The only reason I talk about it here on this channel is because I think it's the best true all-around seasoning that I've ever found that's got that Florida flavor, Florida Florida twist to it. I've tried all the others, Everglades, uh, Key West Season, and a bunch of others, but I keep coming back to Seminole Swamp. He don't pay me a dime to push it, but what he does do for us is he supplies the product for us. We we've been we've been buying it for years, and after he heard about our channel, he starts sending it to us. And he also offered to do a giveaways. Okay, and I would use it whether he did that or not because I love it. I use it every day. All right, I use it every. I put it on my eggs this morning. Okay, I put I put it right on my eggs this morning because I like it that much. So if you like to try it, you never tried it, shoot me an email, Backwoods Gourmet Channel, Gmail. I'm going to pick one of those people that sent a Gmail over there, maybe two, because he ain't giving away a couple months, because I've been forgetting to do the giveaway. And I'll shoot that email and your contact, you got to send me your contact, your mailing address, okay? Send me your mailing address. I'll shoot it over there, Thunder Bear at Seminole Swamp Season. He's going to get you out of three pack. With the three different flavors of the Seminole Swamp seasoning, you're going to give it a try. And I guarantee you, after giving it a try, you're going to want to go back there and order some more from them. I don't get a dime from it. I don't make no commission. It's, I'm, I'm totally 
unfinancially involved with it. But if, you know, if you do get it from him, please give us a shout out and give him a shout out. Tell him, tell him where you heard about it. Um, because we are working on some deals, trying to get that up on my Amazon store, but you know, it, it, it's a process of trying to become an Amazon seller and working out the deals with Tim and the shipping and finding somebody to ship it. So we don't have to deal with it. You know, so that's the only reason it ain't on my Amazon store really right now is just because I don't have time to do all the, all the logistics of it. But anyway, want to try it, get over there. Hey, Texas style barbecue and cuisine finally showed up in the chat. Well, uh, I guess he's been in the woods. He actually sent me a text uh, earlier, says uh, he's got a very, very interesting video coming up on his channel very soon because I heard rumor that Chef Johnny got a javelina. And if you don't know what a javelina is, that's one of them wild hogs down there in very South Texas. Okay. Very special little, little animal. And I, uh, if I were you right now and you're not already subscribed to Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine, I would get my butt over there right now. Click on his uh, his his uh, name right up here in the chat. You can go over there and subscribe to his channel without leaving the chat, but you can definitely subscribe to him because he's got something really special coming up for you. Not only that, he has a ton of barbecue and Tex-Mex unique and original recipes over there on his channel stuff that he's he's come up with himself and man you gotta you gotta go try it out i really really enjoy his channel and hey he's a great guy okay Mickey dupree says uh i would love to love a backwards dutch oven with the logo on top well that's pretty good uh pretty good order there right now you know this this uh, black lock right here, this is the one we sanded out. That one actually has our Backwoods uh, Gourmet logo. Uh, it's it's engraved right around the top of it there. You know, we do that with all of our modified pans. We engrave it right in the bottom. Um, so, yeah, uh, Becky, uh, hit me up over there on Backwoods Gourmet Channel Gmail. Uh, we might see what we can do. Uh, do for you. Uh, okay, so Texas style barbecue cuisine saying Havelina is a collared peccary. Okay, so not sure what the collared peccary is, but he looks like a freaking pig. Okay, uh, to me, he's a some kind of a pig. All right, uh, Pulp Sporting Clays finally showed up. Hey, appreciate it. That would be uh, Dave, one of the owners over there. Hey, and uh, if you like to see shooting videos and uh, uh, Sporting Clays videos, go over there and check out the Pulp Sporting Clays channels. Uh, you click on them, subscribe. I do help them quite a bit over there with some of their charity events, some of the videos over there. And uh, they got a bunch of great stuff. And if you're visiting Central Florida and you're a shooter and like to shotgun shoot and shoot uh, clay targets, uh, uh, definitely have to make that one of your points of interest when you come. You don't even have to bring your own shotgun. They have uh, guns there to rent so you can come there and shoot. It's in a very, very rural woods environment. It's, it's just like going hunting. So check out Polk Sporting Clays. Appreciate it. All right, uh, I told everybody that we're going to be on here an hour. It's 8.59. We came on at 8 p.m. So I appreciate everybody that showed up here for the on the channel tonight and watch this live stream. Uh, just remember, we got, uh, you know, a ton more videos over on our ch channel page. So if you've watching our channel lately or you've just subscribed, uh, remember, you can go back, hit our channel page, click on the videos tab right at the top, see all 342 videos that we've uploaded. And uh, we're going to keep working on it and trying to redo some of the older ones. Um, 
you know, that we did a long, long time ago. And Stan Irvin, pre- appreciate you just finally coming in. Uh, <laughs> Stan Irvin says a collared peccary sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> All right. So if you want to know about more about the pe- peccary, get over there. Sub Texas style barbecue and cuisine. He's right there in the chat. And after this renders out, we will leave you a link to his channel in the description box below. Or you can just type Texas style barbecue and cuisine in the search bar right at the top of YouTube. We'll take you straight to his channel and you can see what he's doing with a collared peccary. We'll see you next time.